Fast API is a Python web framework that is so fast, it's been known to outrun Usain Bolt in a marathon back in 2009. To this day, many companies are looking for Fast API developers who started developing Fast API applications back then. So hurry up if you are one of those devs. If not, you should watch this video to learn how simple it is to handle real-time communication in Fast API. It delivered blazingly fast performance without compromising on developer experience. So buckle up and get ready for a wild ride with Fast API. I have prepared a demo application and over the next few minutes, I'll guide you through exact steps to build this application or any real-time applications with Fast API. In this tutorial, we will be building a real-time voting system that lets users create polls and vote on them in real time. But wait, there is more. We will be using Next.js as our frontend to create voting experience as smooth as butter. For the front end, we will create a simple UI where users can create poll and vote on them. But wait, there is more. We will use Tailwind CSS to style our front end and make it look fabulous. To get started, we will create a brand new Fast API project and set up our database connection. We will then create required models for this application. I am using SQL model which combines the power of Pydantic and SQL Alchemy under the hood to provide great developer experience when working with relational databases. And that's just the beginning. For authentication, let's keep it simple. There is a fast API middleware that tries to extract the cookie name fast for the session. And if that cookie is not there, it creates one and sets it on the response header. This way, every first request from client will get a cookie assigned and all the subsequent requests will have that cookie. A secure authentication done. It's passwordless and um, not recommended. With that aside, let's take a look at the database model. First, here is how to establish database connection in SQL model. Import create engine from SQL model, provide it the connection string, which in my case is the path to SQLite file named database.db. Then I have this helper function that I call on every fast API startup to sync ORM models with database tables. In total, there are three models poll model to store all the polls, options model that holds selectable answers to those polls, third and last vote model to save all votes. Pretty simple. Before we move forward, let's look at API endpoints we required for this application. A get endpoint to get all the polls created by current user. It gets the user ID from cookie and make it available by dependency. The list of polls is displayed on the home screen of the Next.js application. Another get endpoint to fetch a poll by ID. It's used to fetch information about the poll when user visits that particular poll. Another delete endpoint to delete a poll. And finally, a post endpoint to vote for a specific option. Now let's look at the WebSocket handlers. I have created a separate class for this, but this is just a personal preference. This is my simple WebSocket connection manager. It stores all the connected clients in separate pools differentiated by the ID of the poll the client is on. We will be using Fast API WebSocket functionality to ensure all the connected clients receive real-time updates when a poll is updated. Here is how you add a WebSocket handler in Fast API. Expose a WebSocket endpoint at this URL. Poll ID path parameter in this case will determine what updates will be sent to the connection. In case of poll ID 123, any changes made to that poll will be broadcasted to this client. But first, let's finish establishing the connection. First check if that's a valid poll ID by queuing the database. If so, accept the connection and hand it over to the connection manager. Now when user votes, simply send the updated information about the options to the connected clients that are interested in that particular poll. Now let's see front-end implementation. On the home page, a request is made to the backend API to fetch list of polls for the current user. Make sure to set credentials to true so that the backend know which user is requesting. The results are set to local state variable, then simply map over the list of polls to display them on the UI. To delete poll on the click, Call the delete API and send the ID of the poll to delete. 
while we are here, let's add another link to the poll's detail page, which is the Next.js dynamic route. Also add a button that link to the poll create page. Poll create page is a simple React component that collects all the data from the user and make a post request to create the poll. Now let's move to the main page of this application. There is a lot going on this page. First, it makes a get request to fetch the poll by the given ID. The ID of the poll is coming from the path parameter. Then a WebSocket connection is open to get real-time updates on that poll. On poll submission, a post request is made to the backend. The backend should create the board in the database and broadcast the changes to all the connected client. This will include the current client that just submitted the post. Finally, we'll test our application to ensure that everything is working as expected. We'll test creating polls, voting on them, and ensure all the real-time updates are working. The link to GitHub repo will be in the description. Hope you find the video helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Else, thanks for watching.